Welcome to Pro Wrestling Weekly with Steve Reapers, Josh Morrell, and Hayden Fox. And if you're not down with the Wolf Pack, you will rest in pieces. Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Weekly, everybody. This is our special Royal Rumble predictions episode. We'll count this as number 25 and the start of Season 3. So thank you for tuning into the start of Season 3. And thank you for those that have been around since Season 1. We greatly appreciate the support. But today, well, I should probably introduce myself in case you guys are new. Uh, I'm your host, Steve, also known as Steve the Reaper. Follow me on Twitter, which will be in the description down below. Let's get right into Pro Wrestling Weekly number 25, our Royal Rumble predictions episode. Today, I am here with one of my co-hosts, co-hosts, Josh Morrell. Hi, Marks. We are all Marks. I know. Uh, I know. Hayden is not joining us today due, due to uh, unforeseen circumstances, so we hope to have him back on in the very new future to help us kickstart Season 3. But as I said, the Royal Rumble is today, actually, at the time of recording this, so editing this and getting it up on YouTube in time is going to be a great challenge to do, but I like challenges. Challenges are cool. So, before we get into the Royal Rumble, real quick, I think we should cover this. Well, actually, Josh, mm -hmm. you mentioned it. Uh, so, yep. Kurt Angle made the announcement on ESPN that he will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2017. That... Oh, bloody Yeah. That sent shockwaves through the whole entire, like, fan base. WWE fans everywhere. Wrestling fans. Well, it's not just that. It shocked, it shocked the world, really, because if you think about it, obviously, Angle's reach is more than wrestling. He got the Olympic stuff. Uh-huh. Like, because the, even the Olympic um, sort of, like, website, official, I think it's OC, whatever, dot com or whatever it was, and then they posted, like, a, like a highlights of how his Olympic trial went and all that because of it. Obviously, right. WWE might have prompted them to do that, paid them to do that, but, yeah, they did that, and then Sports Illustrated got into it, and then... And then the wrestling, and then ESPN first reported it probably because WWE gave them the money to, and then, or ESPN gave WWE the money to sell the story, and then they did. See, WWE confirmed it on their social medias and dot uh, com and stuff like that, and it was shocking to me because I was doing my WWE 2K17 PS4 tournament match, which is, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, I lost um, to Ryan Drop at 62. That will always be my name. Um, but, yeah, when I heard about that, I was just, no, it can't be true, because WWE is washing their hands with Kurt Angle, basically. But no, it's, it's true. Um, it's true, it's damn true. Yeah. I always, I always was baffled in TNA that he was, he was not allowed to use it. It's true, it's true. But, you know, Catch obviously right. that was WWE copyrighted phrase somehow. But, um... Yeah, obviously his accomplishments outweigh everything. Um, you got the obviously the Olympic gold medal in freestyle wrestling. Uh, you got the WWF Championship twice, uh, the Undisputed Championship or slash the WWE Championship a couple of times. You've got the Intercontinental, the European, the tag team belts. Uh, you name it, Kurt Angle's won it except for the US belt. I don't know if he's won that yet. Um, or has I uh, had an opportunity to win that? Um, but yeah, I'm excited because I one of my fa first favorite wrestlers, my first batch of favorite wrestlers when I was watching was Eddie, Kurt, Benoit, and uh, 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 Steve Austin and The Rock. So that was 99, 2000 sort of time. So yeah, 
So it was about right. I managed to catch a little bit of Ben and WCW, but not a lot because WCW fluctuated from U- on UK channels. It was on one and then it was on the other from time to time. So I never got to solidly watch WCW. So yeah, but yeah, I am excited. In, in fact, that Kurt's in the uh, Kurt's in the hall. Um, I don't know if it will lead to a match, but I hope it does. At least what I don't want him to have more than he. He does, doesn't want... If he wants one, let him have one. If he wants more than one, let him have two or three. Don't go overboard and don't like do the overzealous spots that you've done in the Attitude Era, that you've done in the Ruthless Aggression, because that'll kill him. That'll kill him. And, and we don't want to see someone, again, die in the ring live on television like we had with other people, like Owen Hart. Mm-hmm. That's just not... You don't want that. So, But yeah, I... I am excited that Kurt's going to the Hall of Fame. She's one of my personal favorites. So, yeah. Very great to hear. I, I was shocked when I first saw it. I was like, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's yanking our chain here? But no, it was it is true. I thought it was a TNA Hall of Fame again, like they were inducting him a second time for some reason. That's what I thought it was at first. So, oh, T- oh TNA. Oh, TNA. They can't catch a break. Even with Anthem as their new owner, they can't catch a break. Yeah, because then they had a... Uh, what was the owl's name for Harry Potter? Hedwig as their logo now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. what? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, yeah. Also, I, I have to say this as a disclaimer. I should probably make this into a t-shirt at some time, but sorry if you hear any background noise. Gotta, gotta oh, yeah. say that. <laughs> so, yeah. let's get into these predictions this also may be a shorter episode guys i'm just letting you guys know ahead of time but hopefully it won't be too short because that would be sad but we will make do so uh on the kickoff show and i'll leave a link to the card in the description down below this is from bleacher report uh sasha banks versus nia Jax. uh i you know i think WWE don't really know how to use Sasha Banks now since she's no longer in a feud with Charlotte. Mm. And I think Nia Jax is just... I I don't know. I think they're building her, but at the same time, it's almost leading to nowhere. Yeah. Um, In my opinion, they're building Sasha versus Bailey and Sasha going heel. That's what they're doing. Um... I've got no insider knowledge on that. That's I, I've heard it around the internet as well. I thought of it when she lost to Charlotte last time, so I'm not a, I'm not a sheep, you marks. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I see this match being very. I think Sasha's going over with a dirty finish. Um, I don't think it's going to be clean. If it is, I'll be shocked. But I can see Sasha winning either way. Because what's the point in Nia Jax winning? Heel versus heel championship match at Fast Lane? No one wants to fucking see that. What, are going to cheer for Charlotte and boo Nia Jax? Well, here's what I think. Here's what I think. If Nia Jax did win, then mm-hmm. it would continue her being built as like this monster on the women's division. So mm-hmm. therefore, it would lead to some sort of championship match at some point, whether it be against Charlotte or Bailey or whoever. I think it'd have to be against the face champion for it to be believable. Well, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. Yeah, but I don't. Well, I'm kind of biased because I've seen it already live and in person, but I don't want to see Nia Jax versus Bailey again. And I was there the last time it happened, so kind of be bittersweet. It's like I, I seen this already i was there to see it i was i was participating in the i want if you want to be my girl chance that we created fuck you full sale um and i and i'll admit that to the fucking cows come home come at me fucking except for that jj williams guy other than him i hate mostly all of them so yeah any because they're smarky bastards not saying that i'm not but you know up to the level where it's nauseating, if you know what I mean. But anyway, other than NXT, yeah. Um, no, all I can see put in the smack the, the Raw women's title picture is Sasha versus Bailey at SummerSlam. That's all I can really see. 
important. In order to achieve that, you think Sasha Banks will go over? Yep. Okay. I. I, I don't know. Like, I agree with your point completely. Like, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But yep. it's like I don't know. I can't see. My issue is. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about this match, so no. Like, and uh, it sucks it's a, there's a problem. The other problem, it's on the kickoff. Yeah. Who, who do you, and the kickoff's two hours, which pisses me off. Oh god, is but, it really? Yeah. It's they've completely mainied it, except for mainly it's now probably going to be officially five hours going into six this year, I reckon, if they can rent the building out for that long. Um, yeah, the the kickoff's two hours. That's why they put the extra match on the pre-show, which we'll talk about in a minute. For the SmackDown ladies, which I think is disrespectful, um, considering they were building that as a main match, and then move like a couple of days before it kicks off, the they move it to the pre-show. What the fuck? What Wait, message does that send? So it is on the pre-show. You know? the SmackDown women's six on well six yeah. women. Oh yeah. come on. Yeah. Moved, moved it literally two days ago from this recording. What do they plan to achieve with doing that? Exactly. I don't know. They've moved all the mid-card women's matches. Well, actually, no. The SmackDown was the main women's match because the women's champion's in it. Right. And it's not for the belt. What the actual fuck is it for, then? Right. Plus Nikki what James. What's it built to? Plus when Nikki Becky James. Becky versus Alexa again? Or Alexa versus Naomi? What I would want to happen at SummerSlam, eventually, is Mickey James versus Alexa Bliss. That is my... Because Mickey James, when she came in, was controversially my favourite because of the WrestleMania incident that WWE wants you to forget will lead you to go onto YouTube if you're old enough. If you're 18 or over, then check it out. If you're not, don't. That's that's the moment I'm talking about, hmm. if you know what I mean. But, yeah, um, no, I don't see any point. But, yeah, I, I agree with you as well, you know. But it also do pushes Nia Jax, if you, if, if, if you think about it, if Sasha wins. So it's a two-way street. Yeah. So... I see this match being completely pointless, as well as all the other matches on this fucking card, except the tag title match, which is the only one I'm actually looking forward to that I'm only watching the pre-show for. Right. You know? Because I've been out of the loop with wrestling for quite a while. I haven't been watching the main shows, like the Raw and the SmackDown. I haven't watched NXT in months until TakeOver tonight, so last night. So, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't care who wins in this match. I just hope they put on a good enough match for it to be worthy of people's time. Yeah. And I, I know that Sasha's capable of doing that, but something tells me that Nia Jax is just going to, like, squash her. Yeah. So. Like a flower. Yeah. That's Gorilla Monsoon would say. Uh, or someone like that would say. Uh... I don't know. Might have been Heenan, but I don't know. Right. So, moving on from that. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson for the Raw Tag Team Championship. <sighs> okay, as much as I want to see Gallows and Anderson win the titles, I do not think it'll happen this soon. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot see Cesaro and Sheamus being interim champions. I think that they're... The chemistry that Cesaro and Sheamus have, or lack of chemistry because of, you know, how they can't cooperate as well, I think that just adds an interesting story element to the tag team championships, and I think it adds an unpredict unpredictability element to it to where one of those two will snap at each other at some point, and it'll just cause that tag team to disintegrate leaving a new champion to be crowned, so... I, I just... Well, this... Go ahead. Well, so this is where the point where I disagree with you. Okay. I think Gallows and Anderson are going to win, and I know I think Anderson and Gallows are going to win. 
because I think they're going to break them up tonight. Ooh, okay. Um, break Cesaro and Sheamus up tonight because I am sick and fucking tired of this tag team already. Can I ask why? Because, like, personally, I found their storyline to be somewhat interesting. It's overdone. It's over fucking done. Oh, you're talking about how, like, two parties. Yeah, the dynamic of the, oh, I, I don't like you, but we're still champions. Bull fucking shit. <laughs> you have to like someone to fucking be a champion with them. Right. At least they earned you that right to have that name and, uh, somewhat prestigious in air quotations with my fingers obviously this is an audio podcast you wouldn't see that hmm. prestigious championships you know I can't take it I'd rather them have another best of three or something rather than see this shit so that's why I want Gallows and Anderson to win and maybe they probably will get it back at fast line I don't know and then the new day might regain it at Oh, money. no, 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 no. <laughs> that merch money, dude, that merch money. <laughs> I don't, okay, oh, man. I do not want to see the New Day have the titles again. Not not this soon, no. Mm. Like, they were entertaining Who, for the first couple of or, months. Or, or we could see the Revival come out of Raw after Rumble. I'd be okay with that. And then... That gives Cesaro and Sheamus a decent... If they do win, Gunners and Anderson win, the Revival can be saved to Raw after Mania. I reckon. But I reckon they're coming up in January. I would be okay with that. Like, so, honestly, I would be okay. Mind you, I prefer them to go to SmackDown. Because obviously, heel Revival versus face American Alpha... Right. Oh, and obviously the tag team division needs the revive either on SmackDown. So I think they'll go to SmackDown, but if they were going to Raw, I'd pitch Cesaro versus Sheamus. Oh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus the Revival. That's true. At uh Fastlane. Speaking or maybe on Fastlane. Speaking of the uh SmackDown tag team titles, how come they aren't in the Royal Rumble? That's that's that. Well, mind you, it's sort of a good thing if you like American Alpha, because you know that they're going to... But, you know, it's a two-way street. Yeah. WWE is full of uh, two-way streets, it seems like. <laughs> Ever since the brand split. More like five, Wayne. More like five. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So... I don't know. But, yeah, I, I picked Gallows and Anderson to win. Okay. So. I'll stick with Cesaro and Sheamus. I'll, I'll stick mm -hmm. with that. I hope the club wins. Don't get me wrong, but I'll stick with Cesaro and Sheamus. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we mentioned this earlier: uh, Becky Lynch, yep. Nikki Bella, and Naomi versus the returning Mickey James. Congrats, Mickey James. Alexa mm. Bliss and Natalia. I I don't know. I don't know about this one. I think the faces are going to win because they normally do. See, I'm, I'm Sometimes we do win, but not likely. Right. Like, I'm torn because it's Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss for me, basically. <laughs> it, it, it basically is for everyone, not just you. Right. And my, well, with Mickey Jones in it as well, because Mickey Jones, to be honest, no offense to Alexa Bliss or Becky Lynch, surpasses them in star power. Like, she alone can sell that match if it was on the main card. Obviously, it's just on the pre show, just. Not even avoids anything of a bush, right? So, but yeah, but but they they should have marked if they were going to advertise it like properly, they should have said Mickey James first match in the WWE. Now they can now they can only say uh, Mickey James first match in WWE. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they're devaluing Mickey James's return already, right? And I think there's maybe a certain John that might be involved in that conspiracy. Ooh, conspiracy. Uh, for me, I think that the heels should right. win. At least, okay, at least have Mickey yeah, James like pin Becky Lynch or something like that. Yeah. So, in that well, aspect, I don't know if this is an elimination match or not. Just one fall. I think it is just one fall. Oh, that's pointless. <laughs> that is absolutely po What the? F that 
that just doesn't make any logical sense. The only part about the kickoff show that actually interests me is panel. That's it. Like, nothing interests me about the kickoff. Nothing. Except Shawn Michaels talking a load of gibberish and think, oh, I'm not going to be in the Royal Rumble, but I'd really like to wrestle some old Joe. <laughs> like, then wrestle him. All you have to do is say to Vince, I want to wrestle some old Joe, and he'd do it. Because that's a marquee match. Shawn Michaels coming back out of retirement after 10 odd years. Or however long it's been. 2009. So, about eight years. It'd be a big marquee match. Mm. And Samoa Joe's first WrestleMania match sells itself. But no. I, I, no. I do have to ask, what do you think is a better better match? Like, say Shawn Michaels did come out of retirement. Styles mm-hmm. versus Shawn or Samoa Joe versus Shawn? Oh, Styles all die. Because they're more similar in terms of AJ Styles goes on the top rope occasionally, but does sort of the ground and pound moves, the punches and the kicks, and so does Michaels. The sweet chin music that everyone fucking copies. Mm-hmm. Fuck Young Bucks. Ooh. Yeah. So, I think that would be a better match, to be honest. But if he wants Samoa Joe, give him Samoa Joe, to be fair. Very true. That's not a bad match either. I'm not saying that Shawn Michaels coming back would equal a great match anyway. Let alone, if it was with, unless it was with Braun Strowman. Then it was going to be a shit match any day. Sorry, I, I think that's one of Hayden's favourites. If it is Hayden, I'm sorry. No, I hate Braun Strowman. Which is what you're supposed to do, because he's a heel. Right. Ah. See, I'm not being a mark. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm told. You're being a sheep, though, Josh. You're, wait, no, 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 you're not being a sheep. You're actually doing what the product wants you to do. Come on, man. What are you doing? Yeah, but I love AJ Styles, and, that, and then you're not supposed to do that. Kind of counteracts myself, counteracts it, doesn't it? And I got, and I bought the, I bought the most expensive AJ Styles, merch, which is the side plates. That's the most expensive merch that he had. Well, it's actually not on sale because it's sold out again. But I have the most expensive merch on of of his. So doesn't that class me as a big mark? You make a valid point. Exactly. I cannot argue with that. Like. Exactly, hush, hush, child. <laughs> uh, so moving on, uh, Rich Swan versus Neville for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, Neville. without a doubt. Like, I'm right. just... no, no questions asked. I, I don't even know why Rich Swan Cape became the champion. To be fair, I reckon to be... <laughs> I'm the only one that probably says T.J. Perkins should have kept the belt until Nev until Neville came up back back into prominence. Because that would have been a more believable feud. Because if Neville was starting to beat down on TJ, so oh, I feel so sorry for him. But you don't feel sorry for Rich One because Rich One has beaten him loads of times, right. like he did Bob Kendrick when he won the bloody thing. You know, it's ridiculous. You know? No, no doubt, I agree. But no, I, well, I think Neville in the last couple of months has been the best Neville I've ever seen. Uh, even as Pac in the UK Indies, Neville in NXT, heel Neville sort of in NXT, and then the main roster run. Best Neville we've seen in years. Bar none. Bar bloody none. And especially the match he had with Tommy End. Oh my God. Talk, obviously, uh, we'll talk about the quiz at the WWE UK tournament a little bit at the end. Obviously, that's close time for me. Because I'll talk about who will be in the Royal Rumble. That sort of relates. Mm. Um, so, yeah. I, Neville's going to win. But, and it's going to be a decent match. I'm not saying it's going to be a shit, shitter. But I think I'm going to go piss during it. Because I have a I, my bladder fills up very quickly. But that's uh, TMI. But, you know, the, that will be a part where I usher myself out. But... I will obviously listen to it, and obviously listening is not as good as seeing it, but, you know, it's go- it's going to be decent. It's going to be decent. Let me just say that. For sure. Neville's mm. a very talented wrestler, and so is Rich Swann to a certain extent. Yeah, as you say, don't get me wrong, Rich Swann is a great wrestler. He's not boring, unlike some of the jobbers in the Cruiserweight division. Like, that Mustafa Ali that they're building up, I think he's absolute boring. I think he's boring. 
We need our so, problem, Dar. Where is he at? Yes. Why is he a heel? Be because foreigners, that's why. If they always like had the fo foreigners mentality. Us Scottish and English made the Americans. For fuck's sake. Why are you treating us like shit? Oh, we fucking hate the British and the Scottish because they made us. Let's fuck them up. That is Vince. No. <laughs> that is Vince. Yep. Vince's mentality and thinking. Confirmed. We know it. We have insider information. Yes. Just kidding. We don't. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that chance of that. I wish. I wish we did. But yeah. such is life. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Next up is uh, Charlotte versus Bailey for the Raw Women's Championship. I would Charlotte. Be, yeah, I was gonna say I would be shocked if Bailey won. I would be shocked. It would be a decent moment to be fair, but you know, I can't see it happening right now. I can see I can vision Bailey winning the championship of Sasha at SummerSlam to sort of replicate. They want that. I think they want to replicate. What happened in Brooklyn at NXT Takeover, which would be then two years from then? Right, but at the same token, and, and I'm sure I'm sure you know this, so I'm not like dissing your point at all. But yeah, go I, on. You, I don't think you could replicate the magic that Sasha Banks and Bailey have done, like compared to. Oh no, no, I'm not saying you can. You're absolutely right. That's what they want to do. I'm not saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I think it's terrible, the fact that they want to do that. But that's the thought process I can see them going through. Because they always replicate, replicate, replicate. See, with what I said about the Seamus and Cesaro, it's a replication of stuff that's happened lots in the past. You know? So that's why I'm not a fan of it, of replication in the business. But it happens a lot. Young Bucks... As well, fuck the young bucks. Anyway, um, but yeah, yeah, I can't see. If Bailey does win, it'd be nice, but no, I can't see it happening. It'd be a big, decent match, of of course. Right. I can see it going fifteen, twenty minutes as well. That's a good time frame. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Either way, I think they're gonna be putting on a great match, and I think people should just expect Charlotte to win. At yeah. pay per view. Well, yeah, she is Mrs. Pay per view. Yeah. RVD was Mr. Pay per view. Now she is Mr. Mrs. Pay per view. Oh no, she's the RVD of the women's division. She might as well just uh, point. Well, no, you can't really point. Shaw the flare. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. No, you can't really do that. Oh no. God. Now she'll go around doing the frog splash. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. But yeah, no, Charlotte's winning, definitely. Yeah, for sure, 100%. Mm. Uh, next up, AJ Styles versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm wearing a Styles t-shirt, so obviously I want Styles to win, but it would not surprise me if Cena won tonight. Yeah. I've got two Styles t-shirts. I'm not wearing it right now, but I've got the same one as you and then the the one that doesn't make sense. The blue one that doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the same opinion. I want AJ to win. hope AJ wins, but Cena is winning. Um, then AJ's going to get it back at Chamber, as I said. And then, yeah. He'll possibly win it back at Mania to end the feud. Yeah. I, I have no, no doubt that these guys are going to put on a great match because their SummerSlam match was ooh, good. Like, good. <laughs> yeah. So, I have no doubt that it's going to be a good match. But I'm gonna, I, I think a lot of people will be disappointed that Cena will win. Oh, yeah. Unless you're a Cena fan. I mean, that's... Well, especially is the... Not many... Not... Like, people from around the world are going to be at this Rumble, not just Texans. Right. Because Texans, unfortunately, will not be able to feel the animal. And the animal is not even full t uh, tonight. 
it's just not. It, it's not sold out. Right. As I know of. So they've only got about 40, 50. And that can fill 60. So there's going to be 10,000 empty seats. I don't see them wanting to cheer for Zena. There's easy. many people coming from around the world, not just Texas. If it's a Texas based, based crowd, maybe. There might be a little scattering of cheers for Cena, but I don't I don't see anything I can't I no I, I can't see anything really going into that. Pretty fair, that's fair. So next up we have Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship with Chris Jericho J- Jericho, yeah that made sense. Jericho in a shark cage high above the ring. Reigns. Is that who you think is going to win, or is that... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who I think and know is going to win. Hmm. No. It... <sighs> I'm torn. Well, okay, I shouldn't say I'm torn. Uh, I'll just be disappointed if both Cena and Reigns win a- the main titles. <laughs> Vince, Vince McMahon will have a fucking wank fest if that happens. Well, no, he books it so he'll have a wank fest before it because he'll know it happened. Right. And then he'll have another wank because, because the fans react will boo them. And then the Royal Rumble will just be turned on its side. I uh, don't know. The Royal Rumble match always sort of rescues a bad card. Well, except but, for Batista. Look at 20, race. when was it? 13. I think it was an abysmal card, and then The Rock and CM Punk went on, which I thought was horrible because The Rock won the belt. I love CM Punk. I love CM Punk. Anyway, hmm. um, yeah, Reigns is winning. It, I... let, <sighs> I'll give you. I'll give you a scenario. If Cena wins, Reigns will win. Reigns will win. If AJ wins, Kevin will win. Maybe it might be the other way. If AJ wins, Reigns will win. Or if Cena wins, Owens will win. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be probably a scenario where it's crisscrossed. Right. So if Cena wins, Kevin will win. But I can't see Kevin winning. Right. Unless, so... Unless Chris Jericho drops the list of Jericho onto Roman Reigns. Then he'll get DQ'd and then Foley will make it a no DQ match. Because fuck us, fuck us, right? And then Stephanie will come out and reverse the decision. Raw turmoil, whoa-oh. <laughs> Hasn't it been raw, raw turmoil, like, for since since brand split? Yeah, in a sense. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, As uh, SmackDown is, <laughs> like, doing awesome with storytelling, yeah. Yeah, possibly, yeah. I don't know. I think I Stephanie won't reverse the decision. I think it will go to Reigns, or maybe yeah, they, they, she'll reverse the decision. Kev, maybe. I reckon they'll make a stipulation on the night saying, if Chris Jericho fly, puts foreign objects into the ring and Kevin Owens used it, he will automatically lose the belt. Ah. Oh. Because they need Reigns to have that title on that poster for Mania. No, they don't. There was a ticket, apparently. According to Vince. Not me. AJ at the front of the po- Royal Rumble poster would have been nice. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Like, why wouldn't you put your main champion at, on, at the front? Your fucking main title, which it is, because it's been around longer. Well, now they're treating the Universal as the main, because... They're getting, like, fucking redesigns of it already. Like, uh, Orange County Chopper versions of it. Mm -hmm. Apparently that wasn't an Orange County Chopper, the first one. That was basically a replica curved into a real one. Um, And then the second one was a different, I think it was Dave Milligan or something. And they said, fuck it, we want an OCC one, because we want to own all designs. So basically, well, it might not be Dave Milligan, but... I, but I think they've basically just said fuck him because he owns basically he wants to own most of his designs and WWE wants to own all of their designs with Orange County Choppers they can own their designs they just give them to Orange County Choppers and they do it 
and that's what WWE wants. They want control over everything, and that's why I have also a worry about this UK thing. But we'll talk about that more next week. But yeah, that that yeah, WWE are very controlling in that sense. So that's why I definitely think Reigns is going to win. Uh, I hope not, but I guess we'll see. Mm-hmm. So next up, the Royal Rumble match. Uh, mm. This one, in a sense, is unpredictable. But if so, we're gonna tell. Right, but if certain people win, then in that aspect, it's predictable. So, like mm. you have superstars where if they win, it's predictable. But like in the grand scheme of things, it's really like honestly unpredictable. Yeah, and if that made sense. But if it didn't make sense to you listeners, I'm I'm sorry. Wrestling doesn't make mm. sense, so let's No Exactly. <laughs> so we just gonna go into who we think's gonna maybe be a surprise and then say who who you think's gonna win. You know, let's do that. I like that. Let's do that. So I think the first surprise is gonna be number ten. If you get what I mean, if you oh, get my drift. Perfect ten. Yeah. Ty Dillinger. I think the way he went out last night, he is, he, yeah, you could tell. And apparently he teased it on a, on a video on WWE's YouTube. So it's happening, I'm guessing. If it doesn't, I won't be disappointed, but I'll be upset. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a quick so. question, though. If he does debut tonight, yeah. which brand does he go to? Smackdown. That's what I was thinking, because I can't... He just doesn't... He doesn't fit on Raw. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he would fit on Raw. But I'm seeing, I'm thinking this is going to be a one-time appearance. Oh. Like Bailey did at Battleground. I think they're going to save him to the Raw after Mania for like the... Like the... Like mostly British fans in the arena. Like sort of pop. Do you know what I mean? Like... Because yeah, basically, yeah. Raw after Mania is basically just Brit, seventy percent British, twenty percent American, and then maybe ten percent Canadian. That's about right, isn't it? That's hundred percent. I'm not like Scott Steiner the same thirty-three and a third chance. <laughs> I had to include Scott Steiner mass somewhere in. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be permanent. I think it's just a one night thing for now. Anyway. The next surprise entrant I have, probably coming in about number 20, is Samoa Joe. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know, I was going to say Kenny Omega until we went on Wrestling Observer and said basically, no, I'm not going to, I'm signing a new contract with New Japan. So he's definitely not going to be in the Rumble. If he was in America, I would have said Stereo. Uh, but he's not. He's he's well. He's probably flying from Glasgow to try and be there, if he is going to be in the Rumble. I don't see it being a big pop or anything. Right. But I can see it happening. Um. Then the last one I think I've got is Finn Balor. Being at number twenty nine or thirty. All right. But I can see Triple H coming in and Seth Rollins screwing him. After what happened last night. So you think Triple H will be in the Rumble? Yeah. Or Triple H is going to do the reverse of him. He calls out Seth in the Rumble. Like He's the only one before 30 and then Seth attacks him. He's on the floor laying on the on the mat in the middle of the ring. Then guess who comes out? It's only its NXT boy, Finn Balor. <laughs> so <laughs> to eliminate him to win, to go to Mania. That'd and he'll be pissed off at Finn. So then his first challenger after Mania, if he wins the title, will be Triple H. That will be a big build. Like, NXT, you betrayed me. You are my NXT kid. I'm going to destroy you. You know, sort of a typical wrestling promo. So, I can do it. yeah. So you don't think a certain UK champion will be uh, in the Oh, round? I think so, but I don't think that's a surprise. Why the hell, other than indie dates, would he be in San Antonio? He's not going to just be in San Antonio for a dark match on NXT TakeOver. Ha is that a wide street or UK champion? 
No. <laughs> nope. So, yeah, I, th- I could I could possibly also see Trent Seven going in it. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Um, maybe Wolfgang. Um, the- yeah, probably. But I did see a leak with WWE's accidental database that Zack Sabre Jr. might be in it. Yeah. He bites his nails. Yeah, that wasn't interesting. No, he's not going to be in it. That was just a, a database server leak. But they had the, his name in the database and they accidentally put it there because it was removed when they used the graphic again. So, yeah, maybe he might be in it. That'd be cool. I don't see a point. He's definitely going to be a one-time thing unless he's signing for the UK UK show, which would be great. Because then, if he if he can still do his non-televised UK dates, you know, right? He basically, like he said, he wanted to be at home in the UK for personal reasons. He still effectively is. Yes, if he's at the other end, then it is going to make it harder for him to come home. But if it's every week. Then you can still maybe if you lessen your indie dates, and you can then you get to go home to see your family, and then you still get paid the indie type money because you're going to WWE. You know, but yeah, maybe if that happens, I don't know, but yeah, I think a couple of the UK guys will be in it. I'd say Samoa Joe and Ty Dillinger, possibly Finn Balor. Um, don't know. All I know is he's keeping quiet on social media. I'll check my social media. He's tweeted uh, at all in the last 48 hours, but uh, I'd... no, he hasn't tweeted in three days. So I'm guessing he probably will be in the Rumble. But if he's not, don't be disappointed. Right. But I've... but going on to who's going to win, if he is back, Finn Balor, Goldberg or Lesnar, I don't want that to happen. What about but I could see Goldberg or Lesnar winning off of Reigns. Then Goldberg versus Lesnar for the belt. Lesnar retains. Then loses it at the next pay-per-view he wrestles at. What about Undertaker? He, apparently he's not wrestling for a belt. At Mania. So, that kind of takes him out of the picture. But what, like, what if that's just something that they're feeding to Dirt Sheet? I can only see him seeing him face John Cena. And if that's for the belt, fine. Let Undertaker win it, then surrender it the next night. Then them have a tournament like they did on Raw that other day, because that was that, that uh, a couple of months ago, because that was the only good thing about Raw in the last couple of months. That tournament that get, kept, got Kevin Owens the belt. And then it just went downhill from there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, that—that's the only way I could see Undertaker being in. The if he's not, I'm—I'm I'm sorry to say this to you, Marks, but I think he's going to face for a strike. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, I would want if Finn Balor does come back, I would want him to win. Because he, de- he bloody deserves it. Yeah. He only won the Universal Championship to surrender it the day later. Yeah, that's right. Uh, like, how embarrassing is... And for Finn Balor to... I reckon if Finn Balor does come back, Kevin Owens will still be champion. Because then Kevin o- Finn Balor can go, You stole my belt! I was injured and you won it. I'm going to take it off you to show that I'm the real Universal Champion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. The story builds itself. It's smart. But is WWE smart? No. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just thought of something terrible. They'll probably pull a Daniel Bryan to where Finn Balor's eliminated and then Goldust comes out with Shattered Dreams. Oh, fuck. If that happens, I will contemplate and stop watching WWE after my six month, of the WWE, my, my six month thing that I've got until June is over. I will stop watching in June if that happens. Oh, boy. Fuck that decision. But yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to talk quick? I, I don't. I know. I don't. We'll get to your stuff in a minute. But I forgot to say from NXT, the major news that Corey Graves has been taken off NXT. Yeah. I so saw to that. War. And Nigel fucking McGuinness is going to NXT. Yes. <laughs> Weekly Nigel McGuinness. I'm so happy. I can. I can. I can. Uh, 
use my uh, 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 special sock. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! No. <laughs> no. Damn it! <laughs> no, but no, it's, it's fucking awesome that Nigel McGuinness is now like officially a full-time WWE announcer because obviously there was doubt when it, the UK tournament finished. He was like, like, where the hell is Nigel going to go now? Now we know his future is certain. He's going to get actual paychecks from WWE. Every wrestler slash commentator's dream is to get that one first paycheck from WWE. That first official working weekly paycheck, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I got you. So, uh, yeah. Uh, for the surprise entrance on my on my end, I I like to see Kurt Angle just just for that cheap pop in Texas, you know. I I, I well, I didn't say it effectively. Sorry to butt in, but. I think they're saving it. They want to save it for the Hall of Fame. It just makes sense. But maybe because because Kurt Angle's going to be at Mania doing all the standing and waving gimmick. As he's the headliner, we'll actually get to hear his theme at Mania anyway. So you know, we're sort of getting what we want, but we're not getting a match. If you know what I mean, just yet. If Kurt's if Kurt's wrestling at all within the next year. It's going to be at SummerSlam, at least. No, no. I don't think it's going to be this soon. I don't think it's going to be a couple of weeks after the destruction. So, yeah. But anyway, continue. Sorry about that. No, that's all good. Uh, I'm going to agree with all your surprise entrants, because those just make mm -hmm. sense to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Winning-wise, I don't know. I'd like to see Finn Balor win. Mm -hmm. But I just I don't know. I think I think it would be a surprise if Strowman won. And yeah, but I don't think he's ready for the title either. <laughs> what is he? Yeah, he's destroyed a few jobbers and maybe Sami Zayn. But is that enough? I would have least would have uh, I would have thought that they would have got a couple of pin for submission victories over the champion before he challenges for the belt at Mania. Like, and earns a shot, like, like gets her pins, gets a couple of pins, and then gets the number one contendership, and then gets the championship shot. So it looks like then he's legit. Do you know what I mean? No, I get you, yeah. Because for now, it, for now, he doesn't look legit, to be honest. So, yeah. But... I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Lesnar or Goldberg won. I, I just hope they don't. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see Undertaker win this Rumble just for, like, one last run. Mm. Uh, but it's probably unlikely. It'd be no surprise, but I think it's unlikely. So... If Finn Bella's in it, he's winning it, to be fair. Yeah. Maybe we might have a face-off between Undertaker and Finn Bella. Like yeah. the, like the, the stare-off of gimmicks. Right. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, because isn't Undertaker set to like face a Raw superstar, even though he's on SmackDown? I can't see Finn Balor not challenging for the belt. To be honest, why would he not challenge for the belt that he lost? That he lost due to injury, which was sort of his fault, but not if you know what I mean. Because WWE booking, that's oh, <laughs> fuck. Might as well get Vince Russo back. Oh no. No, no. Yeah, I'm yeah. joking. Obviously, I'll never want that to happen. And Vince McMahon is not that stupid. Unlike that, there's this YouTube federation run by, or this federation that was run by Tony Pizza Guy, and they got Vince so uh, book, I think. And I said, I, I said to myself, I was going to comment on the video saying, "Why, Tony? Why? Have you realised what this man has done? <laughs> he will kill your company as well as he did." WCW and put on TNA. It'll make a Viagra mm. on a poor match. Yeah, but you know, good old WCW. <sighs> yeah, Judy Bagwell on a pole. <laughs> no forklift. It was Judy Bagwell on a forklift. Yeah, but they called it Judy Bagwell on a pole, didn't they? Uh, maybe they did, but 
it was on a forklift. Yeah, no, she was. She did do a pole match as well. Wow. She was hanging on. She was standing on. A, she was that had a chair rig or something on a pole, and the chair was hanging or something. I don't know. They did something like that, or they might have named the forklift match that on a pole. I don't know why they would have, but that's WCW for you. But anyway, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I agree with what you're saying, but I can't see Strowman winning. That's the only thing I disagree. Right. So, I, I think it's good. It's good that we're not too sure. Because yeah. I think like the last couple of Royal Rumble podcasts that we've done, it's always been like a straightforward answer from all of us. Yeah. So, I think it's good that we're actually making discussion about this and not just like, oh yeah, it's obvious, man. You know, Reigns yeah. gonna win and he's gonna win the title and it beat Triple H and stuff. Well, yeah, that year was hot. Except the Royal Rumble was shit other that year other than AJ Styles debuting. That was it. Or re-debuting because no one really counts his WWF metal match. Metal matches. Oh, yeah. So, so it's, it's for, to me it's his re debut because I've seen all of those. Fair enough. You guys don't know what we're stuff. talking about. Look it up on YouTube or go on the network. Cause no, the metal matches are not on the network. Look, then go on YouTube, guys. It's not yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that. Just type in WWF AJ Styles and it'll be there. It was a couple of months after WCW closed. 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 closed Can't it. speak. Bacho, um, yeah. <sighs> That's normally me bot uh, saying that you botched. Um, ah. Kind of a botched free podcast, except for that. Um, but yeah, no, it was uh, like they were trying to get him to sign a developmental deal, but they wanted him to move to Ohio or whatever. And he said, he basically said, "Fuck off," because uh, his wife was was in college and all that shit. So that, that was kind of admirable. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have chose TNA. I would have gone back to WWE. If they would have let let let, if I was AJ Styles, to be honest, but he built the TNA platform and he's the biggest star that he is now. You know, you can't really blame him from what the path he's taken. But now he's in his rightful place in the WWE. So exactly. yeah. So I think that wraps up our discussion of the Royal mm -hmm. Rumble. So do you have anything else to add on? Oh yeah! By the way, the NXT, champ NXT Championship is now glorious. Mhm. Mm Indeed, it is. Bobby Roode defeated Shinsuke Nakamura last night on NXT Takeover. That, that, that was champion. definitely, other than the Seth thing, the most shocking thing of the night. I thought Shinsuke was definitely retaining. Obviously, that I think that event will be more unpredictable than this one. But it was. It's more unpredictable on the card, but on the television, we'll have to see. The pre-show to us now starts in about six hours. I oh, know. Is it four hours? I don't know. No, yeah, six, uh, four hours. Oh, but, boy. But it. So, it's it's starting very soon, so Steve better get editing quick so we better end this shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, real quick, one more thing. Since Nakamura, okay, lost the title, yeah. is it possible that we see him in the Royal Rumble? If it is it's a one-time appearance, to, until he'll he'll definitely be a raw off uh, SmackDown off the Mania sort of gimmick. I'll be okay with that. Yeah, but if he does, cut, I'll, I'll I'll mark out if he does. Hmm. So, yeah. So it, again, it's unpredictable. So it's, so it's it's a good it's good that a Raw Rumble's unpredictable. Otherwise, it'd be shit. But then but then if it's unpredictable, then it turns out to be shit. Like twenty fourteen. Yeah. Hmm. Guess we shall see then. Yeah. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. If you did, please make sure to buy slam that like button below. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to make sure that this podcast gets in your sub box. Don't forget to follow all of us on Twitter for the latest updates. Don't forget to turn on notifications on all channels to make sure you know when we all upload our videos. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day enjoy the royal rumble and with that being said we will see you guys in the next episode of pro wrestling weekly peace